KLMN is a parallelogram and the diagonals intersect at point P. So right here, uh, this is where the diagonals intersect, right? And then NM is produced to S, R is a point on KL, and then R is cast P, L, A, T, and we are told that NM is to MS is 4 is to 1, NL is equal to 32 units, and TL is equal to 12 units. So the first question, 9.2.1, it is saying that let's determine with reasons the value of the ratio NP is to PT in its simplest form. So let's look at NP is to PT. So we have NP right here, and then PT is right here. So if these two lines were parallel, these two lines, then we would say that NP to PT is just 4 is to 1, right? But then we are not given that information. We cannot just conclude that uh, the line KM is parallel to RS. So we have to use something else. But what do we use, right? Uh, we are told that NL is equal to 32, 32 units, right? So this entire diagonal is equal to 32 units. But then the diagonals intersected P. That tells us that we have 16 units here and we have uh, 16 units on this side so now we can see fully well that uh, np is equal to 60 units right because where the diagonals intersect will be the midpoint of both diagonals right and then now if we find uh, pt we would essentially be done right so from t to L is 12 units, but we need PL to be also equals to 16, right? So that tells us that PT is equals to 4 units. So we can say that PT is equals to is equals to 4 units, right? So now it will be easy to see that NP is to PT is uh, 16 is to 4 is to 4. But then if we simplify 16 is to 4, we get 4 is to one. So that is the ratio of NP to PT in its simplest uh, form, right? Uh, now let's see if we can do 9.2.2. So 9.2.2 is a let's prove with the reasons uh, that key M is parallel to RS. Now we have to prove that key M is parallel to RS. Let me just remove this line. So we're saying that uh, we're supposed to prove that KM is uh, parallel to to RS. So these two lines are parallel, right? We know that NM to NM uh, is to MS is 4 is to 1. And now we have proved that NP to PT in its simplest form is 4 is to 1. These two are equal. So we can say that KM is uh, indeed parallel to RS. The two lines, they divide the size of triangle NTS in proportion, right? Uh, that is the converse. That is the converse of the proportional theorem right so that is uh, our answer for 9.2.2 and then now uh, 9.2.3 if nm so we have nm is equal to 21 units so nm is equal to 21 units then let's determine with reasons the length of rl right so nm from here to here we have 21 but then since uh klmn is a parallelogram then it means that uh kl is also 21 units so in pursuit to find rl let's try use kl because we know that kl is equals to 21 units right so we want to say that nm is equals to kl is equals to 21 units in triangle KPL. So we are interested in this triangle KPL, right? Uh, these two lines are parallel, let's not forget. So we can say that RL 
uh, divided by KL is equals to LT divided by LP. So uh, we're looking for RL. We know that KL is uh, 21, right? And then LT. So LT is 12 uh, units. And then LP is 16 units. So RL will be equals to uh, 21 multiplied by 12 divided by 16, which is equals to 15.75 units.